Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 23rd Angular 2 tutorial and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about services. Alright, so you may have heard of the phrase don't repeat yourself or dry code when it comes to programming and that basically means don't duplicate your code where you don't have to because it's just going to increase your workload. So for example, say we have an application with two components. The first component does something and it connects to the database as well. The second component does something else, but it also connects to the database. And the code to do this is going to be the same as the code up here as well. So we're repeating our code in two different places. Now this is bad practice because if we need to ever update the code, then we're going to have to update it in two places and maybe more if we have different components doing the same thing as well. So services kind of take this problem away from us. So imagine this scenario instead. We have one component which does something a second component which does something else and they both still want to connect to the database but instead of writing the code in each component we centralize the code in a service which is separate from these two and then any component which wants to connect to the database just gets this service we inject an instance of this service into the component which wants to use it so that's what we're going to take a look at in this tutorial. We're just going to create a very simple service to begin with. And then in later tutorials, we're going to create a service which goes out and connects to a database. Okay, so I'm in the ninja directory forward slash source forward slash app directory. And I'm going to create a service, a dead simple one in this tutorial. Now the way we do that using the Angular CLI is by saying ng, then g for generate, s for service, and then the name of our service. I'm going to call this logging. It's going to be a logging service. So this is going to go ahead and create this service for us in this app directory right here. And you can see now logging service down here. So don't worry too much about this injectable stuff at the minute. I'm going to talk about that later. For now, all you need to know is that whatever code goes in this class right here, we can inject basically into other components, for example, the directory and the home component. Then we can use this service in those components. Now, like I said, I'm going to keep this dead simple. So this is just going to be a simple service which logs a message to the console. So we'll define a method on here called log. And this method is simply going to say console.log and then I am the logging service. Now, okay, this is a bit over the top. We would never have a service which just does something as stupid as this, but this is just to demonstrate the principles behind using services and how we inject them. Then, like I say, later on, we're going to create a service which goes out and connects to a database instead. Okay, cool. So that's our service created. Dead simple. Now what we want to do is inject that service into our different components. So let's start by injecting it into this directory component. So I'm going to get rid of this service for now. And I'm going to go into the directory component class file. And the first thing we need to, uh, to do to use it in this component is import it right up here at the top. So let's say import. And the thing we want to import is the service, which is called logging service. And that name comes from this thing right here. Okay. So where are we importing that from? Well, we have to go up a directory into the app folder. So I'll say dot dot forward slash and then it's logging.service, okay? Logging.service. Cool. Now the second thing we need to do is tell Angular in the components how to create an instance of this service when we need it. And we do that using the providers um, property in this decorator. So I'm gonna come under here and I'm gonna say providers. And this is basically where we're injecting our dependency for this component. All right, so what we want to do is specify this thing right here. So now when we require this service, it knows how to make an instance of that service. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is pop this in the constructor right here. I'm going to write it first of all, I'm going to say private, and then I'm going to give a name for this service, like a local name that I can use within this class. And I'm going to call it logger. And I'm going to do some typing to say it's a logging service type that we require. So that's then going to know to go out and create an instance of this when this component is loaded and when this class component is initialized, all right, essentially. So we're creating an instance of this and now we can use it by referencing this.logger. 
So what I want to do is create a method, right? And this method is going to be activated by clicking a button on the directory component view. So this method is just going to be called log it. And then what we'll do is say this dot logger, which is this instance of the logging service. And then we have access to the logging service methods. And remember, we made one called log. If we take a look, we made it called log right there. So we're going to use that method whenever this method on this component is called. So now we need a way to call that method. So let's save this dude and head over to the directory view. And I'm just going to do a little button down here, button. And then I'll give this text saying log me. And this is going to have a click event. We've already seen how we've done this in the past. Event binding, a few tutorials back. And we're just going to attach it to a function on this directory component called log it. So I'll log it and save that. So what's going to happen here? Well, when we click this button, it's going to call this function on the component class right here. Then that's going to say this dot logger, which is this thing right here, which Angular knows is an instance of the logging service. So now we have access to the methods on that logging service through this variable. And we're saying dot log. And the only way we can use this in this component is by first of all importing it here, then specifying right here the providers. Okay? And then it's going to do all the work for us. So let's save that and let's view it in a browser. And if we go to the directory, then we should see down here the button called log me. I've got the console up so we can see the message here. And if I click it, it says, I am the login service. Cool, we've done it. We have created a service and injected it into this component. So what if we want to inject it into another component? Well, we just have to do the same thing. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it into the home component. So that's in the home directory, home component. And I'm going to paste it right here. We also need to say the providers. So I'll say providers is the array. And it's this thing, the logging service. And then I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to copy and paste from the directory component this stuff right here because it's all going to be the same. I'm going to paste it right there. Okay, save that. And then in the home view, we also need this button, which is going to fire off the service. Save that. And now this should also work on the home view, on the home component, as well as on the directory component because we've injected it into both components. So let's give this a whirl. So first of all, the directory component, that still works. Then if we go to the home and we say log me, this works as well. So cool, we've now injected this service into both of these different components. So essentially, we've not had to repeat ourselves. And I know we have a little bit to fire off this uh, logger, but imagine if this service, if we open it up, Imagine this service was something much bigger. We had loads of different connections to the database, update the database, a read from it, etc. Now, if that was the case, then we'd save ourselves a lot of time by not repeating all that code and just having a little bit of that code in each of the home component and the directory component and then injecting that service into both of them. Pretty cool, right? So this way of doing it, where we've injected it into both components, this is creating a new instance of that service each time. So this directory component is creating an instance of the logging service, and this home component is creating a new instance of the logging service. Now, say we don't want to do that. Say, for example, we have some kind of array in the service like this. Say we have some data, I don't know, data equals an array of different things, right? And then each time we call the service, from whether it's the home component or the directory component, we're going to add data to this array and manipulate it. Then we don't want to create a new instance of the service in each different component because that's going to result in two different arrays. We want the data to be synchronous between the two of them. So we only want one instance of the array. And we know both components are going to use it. So instead, what we can do, instead of injecting the service into both of them individually, we can inject them into this main file here, main.ts file, as a dependency right here. So if we just grab this thing, a logging service, and go to the main.ts, pop it in there, and first of all, it's from 
forward slash app forward slash logging service because we're in a different place here. And then what we want to do is also provide it right here. This is where we do our uh, dependency injection, if you like, and paste it right there. We can save that. Then we no longer need to have this thing and we don't need it in the other one. If we go to directory, we can take it out there as well and save that. And now this will still work. So this is the home page, log me. This still works. If we go to the directory, log me, this still works. Awesome. So that is how we create a service. It's how we inject them into components individually and also how to inject them at the root level using the bootstrap method in the main.ts file right there so that it just creates one instance which is shared between the components that use it.